Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I have something pretty spicy for you, and this is something I've always warned you about. This crucial development could have dramatic impact on the future of AI and especially the open source community. This is about a bill known as AB3211 that has been stealthily advancing through the California legislature. Now, this bill is designed to regulate how AI-generated content is published and controlled. It is supported, surprisingly, by major tech companies like OpenAI, Adobe and Microsoft, but at the same time it might be crippling to the open source community. So the question is, is this legislation a necessary step for regulation or could it pose a risk to innovation and creativity? So let's have a look at what this bill is. And of course, by the way, I'm not a lawyer. So at first glance, this bill sounds like it is targeting deep fakes by insisting that all AI generated content must be watermarked. But this emphasis on deepfakes might just be a tactic to inspire fear and garner more support for the bill. The core of the bill actually focuses on the embedding of provenance data into all AI generated content, not just images. This data is intended to be discrete and difficult to remove, applying to any content created by or significantly modified by AI. So this regulation could reshape how AI content is tracked and verified. Because provenance data for AI content means embedding detailed information about the origin and modifications of digital content in a way that is both discrete and durable. But the bill does not stop at just requiring watermarks on AI generated content. It also mandates that companies perform rigorous adversarial testing to ensure that the watermarks are robust against manipulation and can't be easily stripped away. On top of that, the bill includes a ban on any software designed to specifically remove these watermarks. And if that wasn't enough, the regulation also affects more than just online platforms. It also extends to recording devices like, for example, your smartphone that uses AI to tweak and enhance your photos and videos or maybe applies AI effects to you. So the implications of this bill are massive as it means every piece of AI generated or manipulated content from your latest Instagram post to AI generated music will have to comply with these new standards. And you might even think at this point that this could actually be a good move, especially considering how AI generated content has been increasingly used for political manipulation. And also we have seen AI being misused to create deep fakes and other form of deceptive content even for criminal purposes, targeting people who might not be as tech savvy or they are not able to tell the difference between what is real and what is not. And let's be honest, even the most informed among us can be fooled by AI because AI has gotten scarily good at mimicking voices and other human characteristics. But despite these legitimate concerns, I'm not convinced that this bill is the right solution because while it aims to solve one problem, it introduces many more problems. So what are these problems? So what are these problems? Well, first of all, the watermarks are designed so you won't actually see them on the image itself. But once the image is published, on a social media page or other platforms like that, the hidden provenance data is extracted and needs to be shown as a clear visual indicator that marks the content as AI generated or of unknown provenance. 
A mouse over will get you more information about the origin and the copyright holder of where this AI content is coming from. Additionally, platforms are mandated to publish a transparency report on how they detect and remove potentially deceptive content. And there is a big penalty if they don't comply. There are fines up to $100,000 per violation if this happens intentionally or through gross negligence. But here's the interesting part. This does not seem to apply to platforms primarily offering non-user generated content, like for example, video games, movies, shows, music. So basically streaming services such as Disney Plus or Netflix, well, they're exempt from this ruling. So why are these big entertainment platforms, big companies getting a pass on that? especially because they reach a lot of people too. And as we know from things like the History Channel, they have their very own flavor of potentially manipulative content. And of course, they also use AI to generate their content and save some money while doing so. And here is where the things get tricky. The mandate to label large amounts of content as AI generated or of unknown providence could end up stigmatizing that content. It creates an automatic association between AI content and something potentially harmful or deceptive, almost criminalizing AI in the public eye. This could lead to overzealous content moderation where platforms might start to remove content preemptively, even if this ruling doesn't even apply to that content out of the fear of having to pay these hefty fines. This not only puts enormous pressure on these platforms to tightly control and oversight the AI content, but it also discourages artists from experimenting with AI, stifling their creativity and of course, limiting their freedom of expression. The result could be a chilling impact on innovation in the digital arts and content creation, as well as the open source community. It makes it much harder for new forms of art to be accepted by artists or that artists experiment with AI if they need to label their works as AI content first with every single piece. What I find even more concerning is that this bill is rather open to interpretation when it comes to if it applies to AI user interfaces like Forge or ComfyUI, or maybe even your graphics card, because also that can generate video and record video. And if you think about it, even your phone, which already uses AI to enhance every photo you take, will eventually start marking all your images as AI manipulated. That sounds pretty insane to me. While this bill currently only applies to California, it could set a dangerous precedent for other states or even countries. And of course, surprise, surprise, the big companies have already carved out exemptions for their own content, like I said, with the platforms that have mostly non-user generated content. And this is exactly what I have been warning about. Big corporations making it nearly or increasingly harder for open source models and open source UIs to survive by either making them illegal or holding them to standards that are so high they can't be fulfilled. And if they can't be fulfilled, they get crushed under the fear of hefty fines. This is not a good way to go. When it comes to protecting the public from political manipulation through deep fake AI and gangsters using AI to steal my mama's cash, 
I am absolutely for that. But stigmatizing artists who want to experiment with AI and basically sticking a warning label on each and every AI content that makes it look suspicious is not the way to go. We need to be warned about nefarious content, not make AI in general look nefarious. So if you can reach out to your governor Tell them your critique about that bill and maybe ask them to not support that bill. And by the way, this was written with the help of AI. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that content. Subscribe if you want to see more like that and see you soon. Bye.